Welcome to the Hawk and Patch Preview for the Invasion Update. The biggest content update is Co-op Bot Destruction. This new game mode pits a team of mech pilots against multiple waves of robot drones, mechs, and bosses. Gather a group of friends together to face the machine invasion or enter the quick match queue to find a party and then choose a mech. Waves of bots will spawn from random points and you must destroy every bot to complete each wave. After several waves, you'll fight against a boss mech that will require a coordinated attack to destroy. You can't change mechs during the match. To survive to the end, you must upgrade your own mechs. In between waves, you can use EU gathered from downed bots to increase weapon damage, add more armor, and reduce your heat. If you die during a wave, your teammates can revive you. But if your entire team dies, that's it. Game over. The new update also adds a new mech. The Predator is an ambush specialist that can stalk the battlefield unseen and track down its prey using advanced infrared technology. The Stalker ability hides the Predator from radar and fades it physically into the background. While in Stalker mode, the Predator's vision grays out, making distant objects and mechs disappear into the shadows. However, nearby mechs shine like a beacon, even through walls. The Predator is equipped with two new weapons, the EOC Predator, which fires explosive mines you can detonate remotely, and the Breacher, which can spray nails at close range or charge up to fire a penetrating shot. The Predator's starting item is the ISM Disruptor, which disrupts visor functions in all mechs caught in the effect. Several changes were made to mech abilities and weapons. The Technician's Repair Torch and the Brawler's Turret Repair ability were both altered to decrease the amount of armor repaired while the mech is taking damage and increase the amount repaired when not taking damage. The Bruiser's Damage Absorb ability was also adjusted. It now absorbs 50% of all damage while active. However, the duration has been significantly reduced, so save it for the right moment. The Infiltrator's Camouflage ability has also been changed. The duration is now tied to fuel and the cooldown time was slashed so you can activate it more often. In addition to adding the Patrick chassis on the Predator, which many fans fondly remember from the Alpha days, we've also added three new pieces of chassis art which are reminiscent of World War II bomber nose cone murals. Check out the Zoss Ace, Res Monkey, and Bunker Yakuza. The new patch offers a new thruster and two new repair drums. The Cinder Thrusters has twin barreled flame jets, while the RD Squid drone offers two different swimming animations. For a limited time, you can also choose the white sheet covered RD Boo drone. Obviously, we couldn't show you everything here, but thanks for watching, and check out playhawken.com for more information on the Invasion Update.